Hey, it's Richard from Wild and Growing, um, and we are out on a hike in Pondicherry Wildlife Refuge up in northern New Hampshire, and we were walking along the side of the path. Um, the ditches right along the sides of the path are full of water, um, a lot of it's snow melt, um, but they create these seasonal pools um, or vernal pools, vernal meaning spring. Uh, they fill up with water in the springtime and by the fall, they'll probably be dried up. There probably won't be much water, um, but that creates the temporary pond ecosystem that's created right here, makes it really um, uniquely suited to a lot of different creatures, uh, specifically amphibians. So it's the end of April right now, and we've spotted a couple of clumps of amphibian eggs right here. Um, they look kind of like if you took a big glob of tapioca pudding and smushed it together and left it floating right there, um, you can see the embryos developing inside. Um, amphibians spend, mo you know, a lot of the ones around here, the salamanders, frogs and stuff, they can obviously go in and out of the water, but when they hatch from their eggs, they're tadpoles. Um, now this ecosystem right here, because it's temporary, there are no fish that live here. What that means is that um, there's much less predation for these eggs and tadpoles, they have a much better chance of survival. Um, that being said, they're still very accessible to a lot of birds, um, you know, wading birds, birds of prey, um, all different kinds of birds, um, lots of bugs, you'll have giant water bugs and stuff that'll eat them, even larger amphibians like bullfrogs when they grow up, um, they'll eat other frogs and tadpoles very often, um, raccoons, other mammals that live around here. So even though this is one of the safest places for them to use as a nursery, um, typically about 1% of these eggs will survive to adulthood and create more eggs themselves. Uh, these small, unique little eco micro ecosystems that we have all around here, actually they're teeming with life. Um, the biomass, the density of life in vernal pools is actually greater than in the dry forest around them. Um, so tons of uh, you know bugs and amphibians um, even arthropods crustaceans there's um, over 300 species of shrimp um, in this family that are known as fairy shrimp um, you know freshwater arthropods that like to usually they're about about an inch long uh, when they're fully grown but they'll bury their eggs underground um, then they'll hatch during spring and sometimes you'll see them as well um, but anyways Vernal pools, really cool spots, teeming with life, really easy to find all over the place. Go check one out.